Hello, my name is Hirsch, and welcome to the Hirsch Hit Show. Well, a little bit about it, and you're gonna laugh, you're gonna cry, you'll probably cuss at me, but that's all right. I just want to bring to you the realization of what's really going on in this world that a lot of people are afraid to speak of. Enjoy. So welcome to this week's The Her Shit Show. Listen, I've had a couple of old battle buddies ask me to step in and discuss leadership in the military. So I'm retired. A lot of y'all may or may not know that. I'm quite sure you've heard me a few times say that I'm a veteran or when I served, blah, 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 blah. So listen, I don't need the accolades and all that. Thank you for your service stuff. I don't. But what I do want to touch on is um, these young soldiers. Listen, the military ain't for everybody. Pure point blank. Cut that across the board. The first four years is kind of the, the hardest for you because you're molding, you're changing, it's, it's, it's constant, do this, do that, right here, right now, da 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 So in the military, your best bet is right place, right time, right uniform. Three key things, and know your regulations, understand your regulations. Stop trying to fight the system if the system don't need to be fought. You know what I mean? So for the young troops out there, I don't care what branch you're in. Not every leader is going to be the best leader. I'm not even going front on that. Got it. From experience, I didn't always have the best leadership. I didn't. But I read my regulations. Right place, right time, right uniform. Was I the best soldier? Nope. Sure was not. I was the one with the attitude. I was the one that was always getting dropped and smoked and exercised. And I never had Article 15, though. Let me put that out there and make that clear. I was not the model soldier in the beginning, but I learned, I read, I had personnel that may not have been my direct leadership, but they reached down to me and they like, listen, young, young soldier, this is what you need to focus on. This is what you need to do. My uniform was always tight. I miss being able to starch my BDUs, but that I do miss and shine in the boots. But y'all, you know, y'all new ones don't know nothing about that. But for real, when it comes back on to leadership, you got to understand something. During the time of the height of the wars or conflicts, there was a lot of quick promotions. These jokers were still learning at the same time. And someone put that rank on and, 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 you see the little fluffing of the feathers like a king rooster out there on the yard for no reason. But they they will learn. But leaders, listen to me, especially young leaders that's just starting out. Listen to your soldiers. Understand where your soldiers are coming from. Yeah, they might mess up. They're like your children, truth be told. And any leader in any position in the military or out, that is, y'all are all you have, especially if you're going to go to a combat zone. Especially if you go into the field, you train as you fight. Is it always going to be happy go lucky fun times in the field while you're training? Nope. Is it always going to make sense why you're doing it? Sure ain't. But your soldiers, you're, you're only as strong as your rank, as your platoon, as your unit, as your division, as your garrison. You're only as strong as all of that. If you are not taking care of your soldiers, no matter what branch you are in, if you are not making sure that they are squared away, with the proper information and the communication is across the board and you're not standing on that red carpet with them as needed, they're going to fail every time. And I've seen it too many times where soldiers pretty much got brushed off and tagged as a bad soldier. Should you? You're not going to look out for them. You're not going to try to mold them or change them or guide them 
So my question to you is what happened, especially NCOs, what happened to being the backbone and not the jawbone? You do all this. I do this, I do that, I do this, I do that. And you kissing up behind leadership because you swell up and down, it's going to get you promoted. I don't know what your purpose is or why some leaders are the way that they are. But if you're not seriously looking out for those subordinates, not meaning try to slide past on a PT test and pencil whip a range card or pencil with letting them slide with everything that they do. No, that's not it. But common sense and regulations play a, a, a strong impact. And if you yourself don't understand those regulations and you just listening to hearsay because so-and-so said so or this is how we've always done it, then that soldier is going to fail. And if that soldier fails, it reflects you. So young soldiers, I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to tell you like this. And I've done told many of mine and the family that decided to join after me. Right place, right time, right uniform. The military, no matter what branch, is not for everybody. And it is okay to not re-enlist if that's what you so choose to do. But you better have a plan. And to those leaders out there that are all about self. And not the camaraderie. Not the morale. Not the cohesion. Then why are you still wearing the uniform? Truth be told, and some of y'all might ruffle your feathers. Got it. But I've seen it go many of ways. Know your regs. Know your guidance. You can add to, but you can't take away. Stop being barracks lawyers. Stop listening to barracks lawyers. And understand that soldiers, the youngers, the even... The ones at the top, they get lonely. They feel by themselves. They ain't got nobody to talk to. And the stigmatism of mental health is still strong. And it needs to stop. If you can't take care of the ones to your left, your right, in front, or even behind you as a subordinate because ain't nobody beneath you, then it might be time to look in that mirror and ask yourself what's really going on. You got some extremely high speed troops out there. But you always picking on them. You always choosing them. You're not focused on the ones that need the unit cohesion, that need the morale booster. Yes, you're going to have long ass hours. Get over it. Yes, you're going to have some dumbass training, some PowerPoint slides, death by PowerPoint, whatever you want to call it. Get over it. Listen to it. Because that muscle memory and that continuously training and doing the same things, guess what? It will help you in the long run, no matter how stupid you think it may be. So I'm just here to tell you, leaders, competence is my watchword, especially NCOs, officers. Listen to your NCOs, especially the ones that have been in longer than you. I'm talking to the little butter bars and the little cap, the ones that are just out spreading their wings and learning to grow. Find you an NCO. Preferably one that's actually about their business and not just a jawbone. Find your backbone. And I'm not doing this to embarrass nobody. I'm not doing this to pinpoint fingers. I'm not doing this for none of that. I'm doing this show to remind you that you are only as strong as your ranks. Rape is still high. Abuse is still high. Mental health is extremely high. Something has got to give. And if you're not paying attention to those among your ranks and you brushing them off like, oh, they just quiet and keep to themselves and you're not reaching your arm out to ask them what's wrong, then you might be the problem. Suicide rates are extremely high. We, you, 
I'm no longer in. However, I am still here. And all my old troops know that I will still do what I can to assist them in guidance. Because that, just because I don't wear the uniform, don't mean that the NCO ever left me. I'm still a soldier at heart. Please understand your guidance. Please guide. Understand your NCO creed. Your soldier creed. And figure it out if it's for you or not. Because again, it's not for everybody. And it's okay to get out. Just make sure you got a plan when you do. Love me, like me, hate me, whatever you want to say right now. But baby, saw her still here. Saw retired. My bad. Take care of your soldiers and your soldiers will take care of you at the end of the day. Figure it out. On that note, it's the Her Shit Show. Be sure to log on to YouTube.com and subscribe to the Her Shit Show at T-H-E-H-E-R-S-H-Y-T-S-H-O-W. Brought to you by 8 Robinsons TV and Yellow Tub Creative.